It's Halloween weekend in New York City. Let's start the vlog. Thursday night. Halloween is on Tuesday, so here in New York City we celebrate, probably most places, Halloween the weekend before. I'm really pumped. I love Halloween weekend or celebrating Halloween now because in college at University of Georgia, we never celebrated Halloween. We didn't really have Halloween parties because it was always the Florida Georgia game where we'd all go down to Florida for the game and we never really had Halloween. So I didn't like get that time of, you know, dressing up for Halloween in college. Like obviously I did my whole life growing up, but I think I have this newfound excitement for Halloween post grad, which I know a lot of people like hate Halloween, but I have fun with it. It's my own little fashion week where I get to just have costumes. I have three costumes lined up for you guys. I'm so pumped. Tonight is the first night. My friend Meredith Duxbury is having a Halloween party. She's had one. She had one last year. I actually don't know if she had one the year before, but it's, it, they're so fun. So Ryan and I are going to that tonight. I have my costume, but he literally only has one costume, which is our, our biggest costume tomorrow. So it's a good girlfriend I am. I'm gonna go to Party City really quick and send him some pictures and see if I can find like one of those like bagged costumes for him that will just work. Because I feel like as we grow up, we just start to make our own costumes, which is really fun. Like, oh, you know, like, Brooks being Belle from Beauty and the Beast and like you she's just wearing like a yellow corset and like making her own costume But growing up you'd go to the store and you'd buy a bag and like it's like okay This is the costume with everything you need in it, which is so fun. So I'm gonna go do that right now If the line is long though, I unfortunately Have to get back because I have stuff to do and we have another event tonight before oh my god Does my bun look like that? I also have to wash my hair. We have stuff to do. I also have been doing pickle which is a clothing rental service here in the city or all over, but I only do it in the city. So if you live in the city, you can go to my pickle account and I have some clothes rented out on there and I've been renting from people and it's so perfect for Halloween. So this girl rented this dress I wore in Greece because she's being like a mermaid for Halloween and it's like a netted dress. So I'm gonna leave this with my doorman so the courier can come grab this so she can be her mermaid costume this weekend and we're gonna go to Party City. But again, if the line is long, I do not have time. line is way too long. Okay, so the line was years long. So I'm trying to think of something that Ryan could do with clothes he has at home for a costume tonight. Okay, that trip to Party City was a whole waste of nothing because the line was so long and I knew it was gonna be long. Why did I do that? I, Cause I was trying to be helpful, but I don't even think that line, that was a long line. I remember this was a thing last year too. So I'm trying to brainstorm in my head a costume and like Ryan's a big boy, he could do this too, but I was, I was trying to be helpful. Honestly, this would be a perfect time for him to just like wear a Travis Kelsey jersey, but I don't even, he does not have one. He'd be like a, I don't know. I mean, he could just be like a football player or something. So I have three costumes this weekend. We're gonna reveal day by day. Tonight, I'm gonna do Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> and when I was telling my friend Kelly that she was like, Wait, like what character are you gonna be? I was like, no, I'm gonna be a devil that wears Prada. I don't have a Prada bag, so Brooke is being so kind and letting me borrow one of hers. Uh, but I've seen people do this before and I thought it was so cute. So on Pickle, from this lovely gal, I rented this set. It's from Rezek Studio. It's like this red corset set. Matilda Jerf has worn this before, so I was even more influenced. We're gonna see if this even fits me, honestly. The pants, oh, the pants are stretchy. I'm just nervous because a corset top, this is a small. And I guess that's what I normally wear in tops, but we shall see. So I'm gonna try this on, and then I got devil horns, and then I'm gonna hold a Prada bag, and it'd be so cute. But I also got another set, because I'm obsessed with red right now, on Revolve from the brand Affirm, that's very well priced, I must say that if that doesn't work, this could be cute. So it's this jacket. It's like an oversized red leather jacket from Affirm. I'll have all of my costumes linked down below as I always do. I also have it on my LTK profile. This is so cute. I love this brand Affirm so much. And there's matching red pants. I got this because if I don't wear it for tonight, I'm gonna wear it for a UGA game day or I just love red. And I'll wear these separately too. And then there's just red pants. They're like a straight leg with some red heels. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. So I'm going to try these sets on now because then I'm getting a spray tan. So. <laughs> okay. Fits perfectly. I, I didn't like tie it all the way back. I'll have 
Ryan help with that. It's a really nice stretchy material. This is so beautiful and I feel like if I have it tighter too, it'll be more snatchy. This is so cute. I have red heels, Prada bag. I'm gonna have to wash my hair right now too. Um, with devil horns. So cute. Just warning you guys now, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of red for my costumes this weekend. <laughs> Honestly, I love this so much, but it is so hot outside that it works out. And this is the one I rented and I have to return it tomorrow morning. So this is a whole nother outfit, which I'm excited about. Showered and my hair is drying so fast already. So that's great, I don't have to blow dry it. Kit FaceTimed me about something and I was like, <laughs> You don't have enough a Prada bag, do you? Just because the ones Brooke were offering me, it was a pink or a nude, which I was so happy to use. But the Brooke's pink one is fuzzy, and I would hate if like a drink got on that. Because, oh, oh, but. Hold on. Kit was like, I actually have one. I told her my costume, and she was like, I actually have the perfect one. She sent me a photo. Just wait. I just, I literally don't have time to go over there. I sent like Uber package to her apartment. And she like gave them the bag. Just wait till you guys see the bag. It's perfect. Hi. Uh, Thank you so much for picking welcome. it up. Have a good one. You okay, you guys. Oh, she put it in like a whole bag. <laughs> oh my God, it's perfect. A red Prada bag. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Kit Keenan, I owe you my life. Like, that is perfect. I love that you do this. That's the coolest <laughs> thing ever. Step one, Hollow Weekend. We're getting a spray tan. Bessabella Bronze. I'm so pumped. This is Miss Nora. I love her. I keep calling you Miss Nora. Okay. Miss Nora tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited to be tan. I like scrubbed everything off, so we're, we're ready. Love. <laughs> Please listen to this text I'm having with Ryan. Um, I will be showering this off, but we're just letting it marinate. <sighs> Ryan goes, so I'm like, we're trying to figure out what he's going to be. He goes, what about Santa for Halloween? And he did Santa last year for SantaCon and showed up to my apartment with like literally a pillow in his stomach. And you know, it's just like, I'm wearing like a cute, sexy outfit tonight. And I'm like, you know, whatever. I was like, do you have like an all red outfit? Maybe you could be like a devil with me. And he goes, what about devil and Santa? Could be powerful. <laughs> I go, okay, maybe if you do like a sexy Santa, that's fine. No pillow and stomach. And he goes, why not sexy pillow? <laughs> ah! <laughs> he said he doesn't have the pants to the Santa costume. Literally just be like a baseball player or something. Look on TikTok for ideas. I need to take my electrolytes. A cowboy <laughs> with flowers. Nice costume. Thank you. You look fabulous and I like those. Thank you so much. Tying my corset. <laughs> okay, you guys. Night one costume, I'd say. Like this corset, this the brand is Rezek Studio. Like I said, I borrowed from Pickle, I rented. So this is the set. The pants are so stretchy. Like I'm obsessed with the set. Bag, courtesy of Kit Keenan. God bless her. And then I went with red lips. So I did this NARS lipstick in the color Too Hot to Hold. Ears are Amazon. I'm just wearing some silver earrings. And then my silver little sling back heels and it's so cute and I'm so happy that it's not cold outside here's a better look at the fits I really love this like I'm so happy I'm so happy it's so easy the reds are all like different tones of reds but oh gosh I feel so weird wearing these horns <laughs> yay I'm gonna go make some TikToks because I saved a couple TikTok sounds with like the Devil Wears Prada like a line from it. Like I need 10 to 15 skirts from Calvin Klein. Okay, Cowboy and Devil gonna go now. I was drinking a little uh, mom water. I don't really know if I'm gonna drink much tonight, but I'm just sipping on my Karen here. Mm, 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 mm.
my gosh. Guys, tonight was so fun. Just getting back to my apartment. Ryan went to go get his pizza, because he's a king. I haven't like drank in a minute, so like, feel myself. It was so fun. The DJ was literally playing all Drake, like copy paste Drake. And Ryan was like, are you ready? And I was like, no. Because <laughs> like, I said, I was like, after this drink, we're going to be quiet because I have to unlock my door. It was so fun. But then like, he, he kept playing. He kept playing more drink. So I was like, we have to stay. Okay, I'm going to unlock my apartment door now. Home sweet home. Oh, I really hope I'm not hungover tomorrow because we honestly have a packed day. Also, her birthday, her birthday, her Halloween party was sponsored by Maybelline. Wait, should we open the goodie bag? Switch to the camera. All right, let's open the goodie bag. There's things in here. Micellar cleansing pads. Falsies Surreal Mascara. I've been wanting to try this. Garnier Micellar Water for the pads. Take my makeup off tonight. This lip gloss is unreal. I don't have this shade, but it's the Lifter Gloss. Another Maybelline Matte Ink. Some eye sticks. Oh my God, I'm like really feeling the alcohol right now. Oh, okay, Serena Kerrigan. Her card game. That's fun. And then, ooh, I like this color a lot. Whatever this is, so. Love a goodie bag. Um, Ryan's going to get his pizza, like I said. I'm going to take off my makeup. And we're going to chill. And we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. Tonight was so fun. I haven't, like, gone out in New York City in a minute. And I saw so many of my friends I haven't seen in a while. And Meredith is so nice. She's the best. Like, she always makes sure to say, say hello to everyone at the party, which I think is amazing because being a host is a lot. And there's lots of people from different worlds in your life. And she's just so kind. I don't drink tequila, however, and she did pour a little tequila down my throat. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. So, I survived. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Oh, by the way, obviously this is what we're listening to right now. Oh boy, oh boy! That is hot. <laughs> Everybody, it's Friday and kind of one of Ryan and I's sort of Friday traditions ish sometimes we will go to Duncan and go for a walk so we're gonna do just that I'm a little hungover but I'm trying this new thing where instead of like looming in it I get up and go for walks I'm not like nauseous or anything I just had like I had two drinks there and then I had a mom water here but yeah, so I'm just so happy we went last night. We had a great time and we came back and listened to Taylor Swift's new album and then um, John Party had released a Christmas album. So we listened to a couple of those songs. Um, so we're gonna go for a walk. He's gonna go home, but I'm gonna walk with him a little because I'm going to walk to get my nails done. I go to Mickey in Lower East Side, Nails by Me, and I actually need to figure out what I'm doing to my nails like right now. I'll probably do something like pink or light because these are also for the Gals in the Go Live shows in Chicago. So I have to think about all the things. Oh, I'll just do glazed donut nails because I'm being Hailey Bieber tonight for Halloween and Ryan's being Justin Bieber, which there were so many of those last night. And I thought there were going to be so many Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's, but there was only one. So maybe everyone thought everyone was going to be Travis and Taylor, so everyone was Justin and Hailey. I don't know. But I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys the costume. And yeah, so we're gonna get our nails done, getting our brows done today. I have to take something to the tailor. Um, I have a couple calls. We have a call with our DJ for the Gals in the Go Live shows, Brooke and I, because she's helping with some other tech stuff. Um, I have a call with my manager. We're just doing all kinds of bits and pieces. This is the fit, and then I'm just throwing on a sweater. I've been loving this bag from Pauline. 
it's so cute and it's light and I have a sweater in there because I'm probably gonna be cold as soon as we step outside gonna drink some elect or bring some electrolytes with me or actually now I'll just drink them later um and oh I need to take some Advil though Ryan ordered his Justin Bieber stuff here so we're doing the iconic road launch outfit so he got some yellow Crocs lots of tattoos pink hat and then I put the rest here. What else do we have in here? A gray sweat set, but it's like sweat shorts. And what's this? Oh, these are my strawberry earrings. And then more tattoos, which I don't know if he wants to do here or what, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm waiting. Thank you. Nails done, got my protein smoothie, and now I'm headed back really quick to grab clothes for the tailor. I go to Alteration Specialists here in New York and they're amazing. I have like a pair of jeans and some pants that need the button fixed and then a dress. suggest getting clothes altered and tailored when you're hungover. I was standing there on the platform with the bright light like oh my gosh. <laughs> so needless to say it's time for electrolytes. It's such an honor that I get to work with Element because I drink it all the time as you guys know. This is the raspberry salt flavor. So we're gonna get this mix in. Element is a tasty, very tasty electrolyte drink mix that I love because there's no artificial flavoring in it. It just takes all the like nasty stuff out of it. There's no sugar. It's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I love that there's magnesium in this. I'm gonna add some more water. But this is great if you've had a few too many to drink, helps eliminate headaches, help with better sleep. There are so many reasons to be drinking Element, and I carry it with me everywhere. I'm always lending it to my friends. Um, it's just a great thing to have in your bag, and I love so many of the flavors. They actually have a chocolate caramel drink mix, and that one can be served hot, so you can like make a cozy fall winter drink. For example, there's a chocolate caramel drizzle recipe that I'll have linked below for you guys to check out, but it's, I would assume it's delicious. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but I think that's so fun, making electrolytes fun like that. I need a sip right now. Mmm. Cure me. Or you can make like chocolate overnight oats with that. Like that's exciting. Like I said, there's no sugar, there's no artificial ingredients, just no junk. And right now Element is offering a free sample pack to my followers with any purchase. So I'll have Element linked down below. I love when you guys post your stories like with your free sample pack with purchase tagging me. It makes me so happy. It it generally just makes me feel better. I love it, like I said, with a hangover or after a workout because you need those electrolytes back after a workout when you're sweating a lot. And the sample pack has all eight flavors for you to try. So you can like buy, like for example, my favorite flavor of all time is citrus salt. So if you're wanting to try that, you can buy citrus salt and then you get all the other flavors and then maybe you're like, oh, I actually love raspberry salt. So your next time you can buy raspberry salt in full. In order to get this, you have to go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. I'll also have it linked below, but that's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-O-L-A-N. So yeah, link down below. I'm gonna chug this. I have two Zoom calls back to back here in nine minutes. Need to clean my apartment because I'm actually getting glam done tonight, which is not something I usually do for Halloween, but I need, I'm not good at updos and I wanted help with the Hailey Bieber updo. So, I'm excited. Okay, calls are over. My apartment is a mess. In my eyes, this is a mess. And I'm about to have the makeup artist and hairstylist come here. So we're just gonna do a quick, hopefully quick, I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna play Luke Combs in particular because that always helps me. Or Taylor Swift, I don't really know. Or Drake, I don't really know. Whatever's gonna get me going here to clean and we're just gonna tidy up. Oh my God, I still haven't, oh my God, I still have to try on which Haley dress I'm gonna wear. I have four, well I have two options and then I got two sizes of each because you can never be too sure. 
So I have one dress from Hello Molly and then another dress from Amazon that's more like hers, but then this one kind of flares out. And then I also have two types of strawberry earrings here because she wears like a really expensive pair, so I just got some from Amazon. And then she wears red shoes and a red bag. So I have, I think in this red Jacques Mousse bag, these red shoes, it's just a red weekend, huh? These shoes are Mark Fisher. I love a pointed toe. Okay, here's the Amazon option. This is the size small, um, which I still have like room in. So good to know that I, I'm glad I got both sizes because I thought I'd be a medium. Um, this is the first one. It's more like the dress she wears, but I feel like I'm gonna like the other dress better. So this is the one from Hello Molly. So the one Haley wears is more of a shift dress. But I think this one's more flattering on me and her dress had something similar like with like a bustier and so does this one. Like I can't get it zipped all the way up on my own. <laughs> but I feel like I'm just going to like the photos better. This is a nicer quality dress. So cute. This is a size small from Hello Molly. I'll link it below because I just think it's cute in general. Like if you if you go to UGA and you want like a grad dress, honestly, so cute. If your school's colors are red. I really like this. I just feel better in it. And the one she wore kind of like was like this. So you know, it's my rendition. I'm getting my hair done so it'll look super similar with the strawberry earrings. I'm gonna have the road lip peptide. We have B. I also ordered an R but it never came in time, which I'm sad about because that would've been fun. Uh, and strawberries, and then the back. Okay, yay. You know, people say the term, I feel like I'm running around with a, a, like a chicken with my head cut off. That's how I feel today of like staying above water. I like landed from Florida, which was so chill, so fun, so thankful, and just like boom, boom, boom. But all fun, cool stuff. So, anyways, Dr. Dennis Gross, ultra gentle daily peel pads, exfoliate and smooth, and the second one is like an anti aging neutralizer. My makeup always applies so much better when I prep my skin with this. I just got out of the shower. Took another quick body shower because um, the girls are going to be here in 20 minutes. My apartment's looking better. I honestly just threw a ton of stuff in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm really excited for Sunday because I feel like, well, I want to do some sort of fall activity, but I'll use like half of the day as a Sunday reset, which will be really nice. But yeah, I'm excited to have this Hailey Bieber updo. And Delaney's going to meet us out front. Brooke's having like some friends over before Katie's. Only for like an hour and a half, and then we're all gonna go to Katie's together. Did I say? Yeah, it's my, wait, I don't even know what I said. Tonight is one of my best friend Katie Bilotti's birthday. Today is her actual birthday. Um, also the day that 1989 Taylor's version came out, which is exciting. Um, and she has a Halloween party every year in celebration of her birthday, which is fun because we can always look forward to it as like one night where we know we'll have a Halloween costume and a Halloween party. So I'm really excited. Um, she's gonna be breakfast at Tiffany's, Holly Go Lightly, and she's doing like a hard launch of her boyfriend tonight, I'm pretty sure. So big night for Katie. Um, but yeah, she's hosting it at this venue called The Crown. It's like a cool roof lounge place in Lower East Side, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, Delaney's gonna meet us out front of Brooks um, to help take pictures of me and Ryan, because we I wanna get like paparazzi like photos, like street photos of Ryan and I, because I feel like That'll be the coolest photo, not just like us standing together. So that's that. I'm gonna put on a robe of some sort. My building turned off AC for the year until the summer. So it's just really hot in here. So I have windows open, cause it's like hot outside. Like it's not cold out, that's why they did it. They thought it was gonna be cold, but it's not. So I'm gonna steam my dress. I'm so happy that, whoa, lighting is interesting. Oh, also, so Sophia Tolan's doing my makeup tonight. Tolan to makeup on Instagram, she's amazing. Um, the hairstylist I'm working with, her name's Kelly Hoff. I've never worked with her before. I was recommended to her by a friend. And apparently, she's done Hailey Bieber's hair. <laughs> and I'm kind of getting the inkling that she did Hailey Bieber's hair the day of the road launch, the hair that I'm inspired by. So I'm gonna find out when she gets here, but that's gonna be, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But like, also it's an honor that I wanna recreate her hair, right? So we'll see. <laughs> Guys, this combo, I'm so glad I did hair and makeup. I like wasn't sure, but I just couldn't have done this. Couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> All right guys, hair's almost done. I'm here with Kelly and I am like obsessed. It looks so good. She's just gonna like flat iron just this front part a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
so good. Okay, glam team just left. I am so obsessed. She gave me um, little freckles, like Haley. It's like strawberry makeup vibes. I have to touch up my lips. I just ate dinner. But the hair. So guys, the woman that did my hair, she assisted on set that day, or on set like with Haley that day. So like she was touching Haley's hair. She was helping with this updo, which is so crazy. So she was like, "This is so crazy to be like doing this hair again for someone else." So this is the back. I love that it's like tousled. It's not just like a little bun like I normally do. And I love this piece, so we're gonna get dressed and stuff. I was steaming the dress. Trying to decide if I should tuck in the strap so it's even more like hers. I can't decide. And Ryan just got here, we're about to get him tatted up. So wait, we need to, we can't just like, we're gonna use photos. Like I bought certain ones specific. Like he has like a rose on his neck, so I got this. And then he had two things like this. Like let's try and do that. So we're gonna do a cross in the middle, the two ivies, rose on the neck, and then we can add some others if we have time. All right, it's going well so far. We're giggling. Ryan's now looking up Justin Bieber's tattoos and matching. I was like, I have to get dressed now, but we got some done. He's got a rose on his neck. <laughs> Playing Justin Bieber to get in the mood. Okay, you guys need to help me decide. Well, you can't, because it'll be after, but either the, ew, I hate how you can like see my second piercing. These strawberry rings or these. I don't love how they have the heart, but I like how the strawberries are closer to the earlobe. That's very specific. But also, I can't tell which ones you can like. I feel like these are more obvious in a good way. Yeah, I think we're gonna do these. I forgot that the other difference of this dress is hers is strapless and this one's not. But it stays up on its own, so I'm like, should I cut these off? Because when I tuck them in, it you can like see them. But once I do that, that's done. So I have to like make sure I can dance. It's too much of a liability. I'm just gonna keep the straps. It also helps kind of lift it. And it's cute. I also, I'm so sad I got a, an R, but the R didn't come in time. So we have the B, it's from Amazon. Now time to use some of my favorite stuff. This is the In Beauty Bronze Body Glow. I'm gonna put it on my arms, my legs, and my chest. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be holding all night. Sophia left this with me, which was so nice, and she lined my lips. She also left the lip liner, I'm just now realizing, which is so nice. She always leaves me with a nice goodie bag. Uh, I'm gonna line my lips and do my lips. All right, final looks. Ryan, come here. Woo! <laughs> We're in a rush, but here we are. The tats look great. Got my road. Got your Crocs on. Yeah. So good. All right, <laughs> we're gonna head to Brooks, pregame a little bit, and then we're gonna have a night. Look at these girls! Talladega Nights. Is that Belle? It is. This is so. Wait, did the skirt? Wait. So tell me the details here because I'm obsessed. You've had that. You ordered that. It's so perfect with the shoes. You're so cute. Costume. I feel like I'm in costume. No, no. You. Ugh, Justin isn't paying attention to me. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> oh my god, you look like a housewife right now. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. Emily, show me your... You guys look Hi. so cute. I said it's giving ketchup and mustard. If you, yes. know, you, if you know, know, you know. Guys, let's go bathroom break. <laughs> I was like, Brooke, are the candles Everybody blown out? out? Everybody, you can't go home, but... Er, you don't have to go home. Are you gonna bring this to the bar? What about your book? I have to. The book is like heavy. Brook or Bell? I don't know. Hello, you.
Good morning. Drinking out of our Gals in the Go Matchbox collection mug. It's so cute. Got college game day on. I'm not hungover, question mark. Ryan just left, I'm listening to Taylor Swift. I'm gonna make another element and then we're gonna head out for the day. My friend Morgan texted me, she's being Hallie from Parent Trap, this iconic scene. Um, so she was like, this is so random, but my items that I order are on back order. So she needs white tube socks and then similar sunglasses. These are my favorite from Amazon. So I'm gonna run these by her and then I'm also gonna bring Kit the red Prada bag she let me use. My apartment is so hot. Oh my gosh, I wish they'd turn the AC back on. But it's okay, it's fine. Last night was a movie. <laughs> Putting on my good walking sneakers. So I wanna get a little walk in. I'm gonna walk to Kit's, I'm gonna walk to Morgan's. They both live in the West Village. Um, so it'll be a quick walk. And then I just washed my hair and I'm gonna go to the dry bar because I actually have credits um, at dry bar that, because I actually re paused my membership because I had so many credits, they said. <laughs> Cause like for a while I didn't go to the dry bar guys. I don't know. Anyways, they have to use them up by like next week. So I'm gonna go get a blowout because tonight we have one more night of costumes and at 3.30 we're going to the George bar because which is called American Whiskey because George is playing Florida today. Huge game. But last night was so much fun. Like I had the best time. Katie, I mean, always throws an amazing party, but this was probably my favorite that she's done. The venue was just stunning. Like it was just incredible and amazing and totally awesome. I'm resting you guys on my element. Oh my God. <laughs> my light just scared me. It's been in my living room all morning, but it scared me. The photos that Ryan and I took, um, ended up doing really well. Like I'm really happy with them and you guys are reacting to it so well. Like I felt like everyone, like so many people did this costume but you guys really hyped us up and at the party, not the party, there was one other couple that did Justin and Haley. Um, and they looked amazing as well. But it was so funny, like everywhere, they'd be like, best costume I've seen tonight. Or like we walked out of my apartment and this girl was like, Justin and Haley. Yeah, it made me happy that it wasn't like, one of those costumes you have to explain. I guess people like our age will know the costume, but like if I walked into a group of adults, they'd be like, what are you? Which is so funny, because like I am also an adult, but my, God, my apartment's so hot. All right, we're gonna go for a little walk, get some movement in, get a blowout, bring people their costumes, return my kit's bag to her, and I can't believe I'm not hungover. That is the biggest thing here. I can't believe I am not hungover, and I am so thankful to the gods because we have a big day ahead. Back from my adventures, got my blowout, I'm obsessed with it. Did a grocery run because I realized I've been traveling and I have nothing. What always gets me to the grocery store is my creamer. I need my half and half in my coffee, so that gets me to the grocery store. And then I was like, okay, I need to get groceries. So I just got like breakfast stuff. Like I needed more eggs. I got some English muffins. My cottage cheese, of course. I got bacon in case Ryan and I want to have like a cute Sunday morning tomorrow. Topo Chico is just craving it. I think for lunch today, I got like a half rotisserie chicken. Some green beans, I'm gonna make that now. Um, Cause I'm not hungover, so I'm like, let me lean into not being hungover and like eat some protein and some greens because maybe tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and want some like greasy stuff. Hummus, but I realized I meant to get red pepper and this is hot and spicy, but I love this brand. Carrots, dip in the hummus, two apples, two avocados, more cottage cheese, some berries, and then I also stopped at CVS, I got some hairspray. I, it's a random brand. It's the only hairspray they like had left on the freaking shelf. And then my dentist wants me to start using mouthwash. So I got a fluoride mouthwash right here. And that is the grocery haul. Just did all of my dishes, which is never, it's like my least favorite chore to do, honestly. Unloading the dishwasher, putting the dishes away, reloading the dishwasher, but we did it. And now I feel so much better. And I'm trying to finish this whole thing before I leave for the bar, which I need to make food. I need to, Get ready.
Hello. We have two beverages. I have a Topo Chico and another coffee. I guess this is me getting ready for the evening because the Georgia game. I'm wearing this top that I love from Reformation. And we're going to the George Bar. It's a 3.30 game. We're playing Florida. Big game, as I was saying before. Um, more so, it's just like a big rivalry. Uh, and then that'll probably go till 6.30. And then Ryan and I are going to attempt to juggle a couple parties tonight. Um, we have a friend. like They're like our couple friend. Uh, we met them when we first moved here like through mutual friends. And they always have a Halloween party. And it's so fun. Um, and then Kelly also told me, literally yesterday decided she was having a Halloween party. So funny, she's so silly like that. And she had one last year too, and it was so fun. So, and she's obviously one of my very, very good friends. So I'm like, I need to go to that. So, trying to figure that out. But um, tonight, I, I need to sip this coffee, hold on. <laughs> oh God, so good. Tonight um, is the third and final night of Halloween weekend for me. I mean, Halloween's not even until Tuesday, but this is all I'll be doing to celebrate because top of next week I'll be in major prep mode for the Gals in the Go live shows. Um, so I need to take some vitamin C because I don't want to get sick. I'm like, my brain is foggy right now. <laughs> but tonight I am being Eloise from Eloise at the Plaza. Loved Eloise growing up and I saw a really cute way to kind of do the costume in a cute chic way. Um, I mean her costume already or her Eloise's outfits already elevated and chic, but I basically got like a white Puffy crop top actually it was in my fall mall haul when we did the fall mall day uh, But it's from house of CB and then wear that with a black skirt So I'm not doing suspenders, but I'm doing that with a black skirt these like Mary Jane heels that I got from Amazon some white high socks a red bow um, I'm excited so tonight's my like cutesy night. Uh, there's literally some form of red in each of my costumes, which is so funny. Um, but yeah, should be a good time. Uh, so I'll have like a little bit of time when I get back from the game to get ready, but I figured I'd kind of give you guys the lowdown right now. But I don't even think I'm gonna drink at the Georgia bar. I often do that when I go to watch these games because I'm just trying to watch the game and be with my friends that also went to Georgia or want to cheer on Georgia. like. I don't know, if it's not game day in Athens, like I don't really need to be, I don't care to really be drinking. Especially because I've been drinking the last two nights and I did sober, sober half of September, sober half of October. Um, I did like a full 30 days though, or maybe like 28. Um, so my, I was so pure, my system was so pure before this weekend. Cause I like drank at the wedding I was at last weekend, but honestly not that much. So this weekend's been a lot, but I can't even, again, I'm just so thankful that I did not wake up hungover. You know when you first wake up and you're like, okay, body, how are we feeling? Are we nauseous? Because for me, it's the nausea. Because, like, yes, I am hungover, I guess, because, like, I have a headache and I just took Tylenol, but, you know, we, we move. We get through that. I drink my electrolytes and I'm fine. Like, I'm already feeling better because I drank Element, like, two hours ago. So I'm going to keep doing my makeup and listen to some Drake to wake up. And then I'll show you guys my little game day outfit. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost ready. I'm actually I love the lip combo that Sophia did on me last night. It's like this nude. It's Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the color iconic nude So it's just like a nude lip liner to give some definition. I really like it. And then this is the tower 28 Lip gloss lip jelly in the color spicy and it looks bright, but it like blends out to this pretty strawberry color. Strawberry makeup season, except it's kind of annoying to apply. Like it's hard to blend it. You know? Wait, actually, why is this so annoying to apply? <laughs> I mean, is this what I looked like last night when I was at the bar applying? I didn't even know. That cannot come with me right now because that's a liability at a bar. But I do love the color. Maybe I'll bring this road one and go crazy. I also just realized I forgot to put on mascara, but I might just wear it, wait to put on mascara till later. Is that crazy? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I wanted to wear this yesterday. It um, didn't work out for me to wear it though, but I got it today. It's from the M Jewelers. It's an R. So I was like, I'll wear it today. 
Here is the game day fit. I'm absolutely obsessed. I can't believe it's the end of October and I'm wearing a tank top, like, and I'm going to be hot. Um, top is Reformation. Jeans are Good American. Bag is Diesel. It's my game day bag. Uh, and then shoes, my Adidas gazelles. They're red and they're so fun. And I have to go. I'm pretty sure Ryan's downstairs waiting for me. So let's go. <laughs> I've been back now for a little bit. I left a little bit after halftime to come back and charge my social battery because I knew we had a couple different parties we were going to tonight. And like, I don't know, as the years go on, I just need more and more time to like recharge before each event. Um, so Ryan was like, yes, go home, charge your social battery. Uh, I don't even think he stayed the whole game. We beat Florida, so I'm so sorry to my Gators fans, but see you later, alligator. <laughs> Um, I'm sleepy. I like fell asleep on the couch watching the end of the game. Ooh, ready? Ooh, for like 20 minutes, and that was huge for me. I mean, I don't know if I ever fell asleep. Ah, I think I did. Here's the shirt. Here's my Eloise shirt. She's cute. And uh, I'm gonna grab the skirt. I actually haven't tried on the Mary Janes, but I have other shoes if not. But I think they will. They're like platform Mary J's, which I think is really fun. Mary J's, oh my god, Mary Jane. This is the skirt I'm gonna wear. It's by this brand. Um, I like it. Then we have the socks. I'm realizing I should have gotten higher socks, actually. That was dumb. Wow. Too late. <laughs> And then this hair bow from H&M. I've been really into different like ambiance videos on YouTube or like Yule Logs. This is like a fall cozy fireplace. Actually, I'll just look what it is so you guys can see. So I need to turn it off because it's making me too cozy. Sitting in cozy porch by the lakeside ambient with lake waves. <laughs> a lot of times there's other ones that I like that have like jazz music with them, which is really fun. Um, like there's just so many options. So I've been loving that, but it's making me a little too cozy and I need to start getting ready. And I think, I really feel like tonight's gonna be a really fun night. Um, so I'm seeing some people that I love. But I just kinda need to get there. I mean, this is night three. This is impressive for me. Hello, I'm Eloise. I'm six years old and I'm a city kid. Okay guys, I actually am very happy with how this costume turned out. I think it's so cute and I just love it. So top is House of CB, like I said, skirt A, E, X, A, E. But I will have all my costumes linked down below because I think individually they're all just like cute pieces to wear. Um, and I had some higher socks that I scrunched down, so that's perfect. Shoes are Amazon actually. And then I put my hair in a half and half down with this like bow clip like I showed you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna make a TikTok and then we're gonna go. And we're gonna start at my friend Lauren and Jules' apartment for their party and then head over to Kelly and Landon's apartment for their party. Um, we'll see how much vlog footage I get. But yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited for Halloween to be over after this. Like, I'm really excited for tonight. Oh, wait, that's what, that's what we're doing. Yep, I have like one shot left in here. That's definitely more than a shot. And I was like, you know what? I need a pep in my step and then I'm just gonna not drink for a while after this. Me justifying everything because I can justify anything. But I have to have it chilled, of course. I'll just chill it all. And I'll recycle this because we do that. This is a way better angle. I also literally have my light on. Oh, I still have to film the TikTok. Then I could take two shots before I leave. I take one now and then one before I leave. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, I like, this is really depressing. I need like music. Ryan, is it SantaCon or Halloween? Every day. Every day is SantaCon. Oh my God. Look at the 
attention to detail, like the handprints, the blood right by the light switch. Like, this is so, she's so cute. Hi guys, I'm so embarrassed. We were walking back to my apartment and this guy rolls down the window to Ryan because he's dressed up as Santa and is like, hey Santa and Ryan goes, what do you want for Christmas? And the guy points to me and goes, you're ho ho ho. And like, it was just funny and Ryan's like, I don't know about that, ha ha. And we're walking away. I never do this. I literally eat shit. I fall all the way to the ground, my heels, my skirt is all the way up, and so it's just really leaning into the ho-ho-ho of it all, and I literally was like, we have to get away. I was so embarrassed, they're stuck at a red light, like, I don't get embarrassed a lot, that was so embarrassing, Ryan. It was very funny. It was funny for everyone very else except for me. I literally, like, tumbled, like, you wiped like, out on cue. I wiped out, it was just perfect, like, Whatever. We also went to CVS because I was excited because it's 24 hours and I wanted to buy Annie's mac and cheese and she was like, we're not open. And I said, it's 24 hours and she said, not today. Just not today because they had to like refill. So I don't know. So now I don't have my Annie's mac and cheese. But we had a lovely night, clearly. Got a lot of compliments on the fit. My hand hurts from landing on the cement. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow just thinking about that, but it's okay. It was so fun, both parties were amazing. I'm happy I pulled through, so I was feeling, as you guys know, I was feeling very tired, I was feeling very unmotivated, but it was fun. And both of the places, they like put up cute, spooky decor. And that's a wrap for Halloween weekend. But we'll vlog tomorrow, don't worry, I'll see you guys in the morning. obviously still has that one tattoo on his neck and it will not come off like we've tried the scotch tape method like that worked for his whole chest yesterday except for this one on his neck and I was like I did buy that in like a different pack because we needed a rose so I bought like these two and they did only just come those two and they were a little bit more expensive it's like let me go back to my orders <laughs> I'll start dying laughing he goes what what is it the title, it says, long-lasting, semi-permanent tattoos last one to two weeks. So he starts panicking, I'm like, let me run over to CVS because also all he has here is a Santa costume and he's already just not excited about leaving my apartment with Santa costume. I always tell him to bring clothes here and he doesn't. But so I went over and got nail polish remover. He was like, you don't have that? I was like, I do gel, buddy. Uh, and some pads and then going to Chicago next weekend for live shows, so I actually just needed to buy some minis. I got mini hairspray and more of my favorite gel to slick back my hair, and then Charmin. So we're gonna put it to the test if um, this works. Guys, we've literally tried everything. <laughs> I feel so bad.
been cleaning and kind of just pulling some stuff that I want to bring to Chicago. I have basically like two free nights there. Um, so I'm like, I did like one little dinner fit. Clearly I'm loving red right now. And then I also got this really cool jacket from Abercrombie that has an attachable scarf. It's so cute. I'll have everything linked down below as I always do. But then look at these PJs. I have been trying to get my hands on these PJs for a year. Like last year for the holiday season, I tried to get them and they were sold out forever. So I wear a medium. These are Show Me Your Mumu. And I also got them in red. Because they're so cute for the holidays, but I think I'm gonna pack this pair to Chicago because it's not holiday season yet So I feel like green I mean red too, but I don't know. I'm feeling green for Chicago So these are gonna be my PJs. Okay. I haven't really been vlogging because I've just been like cleaning my apartment because I landed Oh, okay Ryan's here you Got us a pumpkin Woo! We got the pumpkin. I'm so excited. I was just telling them so We were gonna have like a fall day and go to like Central Park or something. But it was just really dreary and honestly, I had a lot of stuff cause I came back from Florida and kind of hit the ground running and then Halloween weekend happened. So I've just spent the last few hours cleaning, not even like, I didn't do my sheets, I didn't do any laundry yet, but just literally putting stuff away and cleaning and it's felt really nice. So Ryan and I decided instead to have a cozy fall evening in. Ah, it's perfect. It's a good pumpkin. We're gonna carve pumpkin, just one. I mean, come on, let's, and we can make pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Um, I tried like four different places. Oh. The, one of the, like, kind of the, the Whole Foods-y. Oh, kind Citarella? Of yeah, Citarella. Very nice. I didn't, yeah, nice. Um, so we're gonna carve that. We're gonna make chili and maybe some hot apple cider too. And maybe watch like a, not a spooky movie, but like a fall movie. The Great Pumpkin. This was Zach said, remember? Oh, Charlie, uh, Brown? Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkins, something yeah. like that. So, uh, yeah, gotta go get those groceries. <laughs> and it's gonna be a nice day. Where can we get newspaper? All right, guys, here's the grocery haul. Ryan found this. So we could just heat it up and have pre-made cornbread. Um, onions, garlic, they didn't have chili beans, so apparently pinto beans is like the same thing, but I'm just gonna add Chili powder, some ketchup, it's my favorite, Primal Kitchen ketchup. <gasps> no, I accidentally got the spicy ketchup. Maybe it's not that spicy. <laughs> maybe it's not that spicy. I mean, we did get hot sauce though. So, maybe it'll be fine. And then some grass-fed beef, celery, and we're just gonna get the chopping and mincing and Get this chili on the road. Oh, and we decided on no cinnamon, or no uh, apple cider, because we cannot find the things for it. So, and it was a really hectic grocery store, and everyone was in there doing their Sunday routine, so. And we remembered that football, we, I remember that football was on. I mean, obviously he knew, but I was like, oh, we, yeah, we could just have football on while we do this. So, yeah. I'm embarrassed to say that I haven't done this before and Clara Purse reminded me because she uses her Echo to like show recipes. This is so nice because usually I bring my computer over and my phone but I literally, can, you can just go on Google on the Alexa and I have the recipe and now it's just here chilling. I'm obsessed. All right, chili is cooking now. Yeah. It is now time. Or like a this. Like, just something like a like friendly. A, it's a classic. And we can put it on my balcony. Oh, yeah. um, so we've got the pumpkin. We're gonna see how many seeds we can get out of it because I would love to cook some. And yeah, I didn't. We didn't have newspaper, but Ryan picked out this towel because he thought the orange was similar vibes. So I was like, you know what? I appreciate that. So, all right. How big, how big the top? Uh, we have to be able to get the pulp out. So that's low. No, a little higher. Absolutely crushing it. <laughs> I guess I don't really have to do much, but this this kind of how I like it. This is why I don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll roast the Where'd seeds. We got the food. I got the chili. We got the well. You help me with the chili too. But yes, I'll work on the seeds. I've never done them. I've only done. Well, I have. I've only done it with Delaney, and she usually like knows what to do. So I'm excited to take it on myself. There you go. Yay! Oh, I see seeds. All right, we got all the pumpkin seeds we could get out of there. Look at all that pulp. And now he's going in for the face. So I'm gonna drain or strain these, I think. Get all the pulp off. All right, we're gonna do a reveal. He's gonna turn off the light. Or I'll turn off the lights. Yep. Ooh! It's not too bad. Spooky. We'll 
friendly pumpkin. Oh, he looks so good. A great job. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Fresh from the oven is the cornbread. Just kidding, but I did just heat it up and put it on the plate. So that's always good. Chili is done. Mm -mm. Yum, yum. Pumpkin seeds are done and they look delightful. I just cooked them in the oven for 45 minutes, put salt on it, and so good. Ryan left a little bit ago, just took a shower. I'm gonna spray some of this sage stress release just to kind of wind down. Mmm, so nice. I'm gonna plan my next few days before we go to Chicago. I'm trying to decide if I want to go for a really long walk in the morning or do Equinox Bala Bengal Bar. I love going to the Equinox class on Monday morning, so maybe I'll do that. And if anything, I could go for a walk after. But that's the end of Hollow Weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you guys aren't already. New videos will be coming up soon. I've got a Chicago vlog after this, I'm sure. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.